In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to revise your SketchUp model, re-export your DWGs, and redistribute your CAD backgrounds to your consultants. It's seamless. Let me show you. So let's get things just a little bit cleaned up here. I'm going to turn off our always off layer. All right, so always off, that's just where I put anything that I'm not ready to delete yet. I just want it to, to hang because it like that staircase concept, maybe it comes back. Um, but I'm not ready to send it to archive and delete it. I, I just want it to be in this model still. Uh, also, we have a layer called Visual Merge. Maybe I'll just turn that off just to show you that you can make these nice, clean, seamless models uh, just by using this Visual Merge layer. It just uh, hides the lines between groups. And uh, let's see, let's, let's make some design revisions here. And you know what, I'm just gonna hide my barriers. I use the hide command a lot. Uh, we can hide this one. Uh, Earth, yeah, we can hide that too. That way we've got this nice, clean, just kind of uh, standalone model of the house. All right, so some changes, like for instance, I might get rid of this window, all right? So let's just double click in, and you can see this is level one windows exterior, and delete that window. And then I'm gonna go through, and we'll delete all this trim here. Delete, and we'll go in here, and just pull this stuff down. And you know, I could, I could use my push pull tool, or I could probably get away with just using the move tool like this, and make sure that I snap it to the blue, and snap it to that point down there. And then, you know, we can kind of clean these guys up. I'm sure I could just hit it with one swipe like that and we're good to go. And I'm not too concerned about these lines back here. Those don't really uh, show up anywhere. Uh, this is all on the trim layer. So trim shows up in elevations and, and sections, but it does not show up in plan. All right, but I do need to work on my walls a bit. And I'm gonna hide the rest of my model. Let's see, like that and see my wall still has an opening. So we can just use our push pull and get rid of that opening like that. All right, so uh, check out some of these other buttons on our Condox system. You know, we can go with like level one alone and then you can just kind of isolate that without having to you know, fish around in your layers panel all the time. All right, so we got rid of a window on level one and then I can just click design. That kind of does bring me back to you know, that default state. Uh, maybe I'll just hide this stuff again, that's fine. Oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have hit design, that's okay though. Uh, we can do visual merge and always off uh, like that, and we're back to good. And so let's isolate level two, and let's go with um, interior like that. And so for the interior, uh, you know, we could do something like, um, maybe, maybe we wanna like build out another bedroom over here. So for instance, I could just go in here and uh, I could, you know, one, one option that we did have at one point was uh, this entire second bedroom over here, or this, this bedroom was mirrored on this side. So let's see if I can do that really quickly. Um, I'm gonna just make a copy of this over here and I'll use my scale tool to minus one. And then I'm gonna move this back over into place like that. And then I can use my push pull tool, pull this down and pull that down. And then I'm just gonna use uh, some cues from over here. Like for instance, I can make a copy of this over here like that. And I can use my push pull tool to push it back through and get that, get rid of that piece. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna be a little bit careful about deleting some of these. Yeah, we're in good shape there. And I always just kind of keep a clean model, keep all that stuff cleaned up. All right, so let's see. Uh, we need our bedroom door to show up as well. Um, I do have a mirror plugin as well. Uh, let's see, mirror. This is a freebie. Uh, I'll just bring that one up. And so, like, you know, you could take like your door like this and just, you know, I know that there's this line of symmetry that happens right here. I go up on the blue and then set the other, and we're not going to delete those and just push that through like that. All right, so you know, there's our door. I think the last thing we'll do is throw another door in here. Again, I can just use that mirror, you know, up on the blue, out on the green, don't delete. So I love that uh, plugin, that comes in really handy. Oh, and we have one more piece in our, um, in our fixtures. So I can just run that mirror command one more time. You can go green and then blue, that's okay too, and don't delete. So as long as I know that like we've got that line of symmetry, everything falls into place, 
we've got our bedroom back and and set up you know we like i said you know we've explored that option of making uh, either having a bedroom or not i like the idea of having a bedroom even though it's small space i think it's pretty cool all right so we'll do all layers on um, and that brings us back uh, let's see all on and do a zoom extents and we're in good shape okay so we've made some changes to our sketchup model revised the design and now we want to re-export our CAD backgrounds. But let's take a look at our folder structure first. And I wanna kind of patch up a mistake I may have made uh, in the earlier tutorial. So you can see that we exported everything over to, um, you know, all of our, our CAD drawings are pathed to this uh, 2001-23 folder. And here's what you really wanna do is take all this stuff and copy it and put it into a folder called current backgrounds okay this is where we should have pathed everything from the reason you want to use your current backgrounds folder is that you've got this one folder that has all the the current backgrounds this is like the master folder all right and you don't want to name it by date because the date always changes you don't want to have to repath all these xrefs you just want to call it your current backgrounds and then run your other folder exports you know with the the dates but then you can always like uh, copy and paste and overwrite into your current backgrounds. That way uh, you can kind of keep a running record and it's really easy to just go, well, I want to rewind it back to last week. Let's just go take those and overwrite them and then your whole drawing updates and rolls back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix, uh, we're going to fix those references in CAD uh, first and then we're going to go back and uh, re-export everything. So that's all good. You know, uh, this happens, uh, making mistakes, and uh, sometimes it's nice to see how we unravel these mistakes. So let's do that first. Let's fix our CAD drawings. So over here in draft site, you can see that we have all of these referenced files, and I can just, you know, it's found in our path here. Uh, you can see that it's in St. Paul, and it's under this dated folder. And really what I want that to be is uh, I want it to path to our current backgrounds, all right? So um, I don't know, maybe I can even change, I don't know if I can just like paste that in there. I don't do this a lot. But um, so we'll go to um, current backgrounds and I'm looking for 01 walls, all right? So that's our 01 walls. I want it to live in there, all right? So. Here's our path, 01 walls. It lives now in uh, current backgrounds, and that's our 01 walls, all right? So I'm gonna go through and fix our doors. Need to be in current backgrounds, 01 doors, all right? So just like that, and then we'll go with fixtures. I'm gonna fix that path, exports, current backgrounds, 01 fixtures. Give me just a moment, and I'm gonna fix them all in here, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we're in good shape. I've got both our uh, 01 and 02 all buttoned up, repathed. And so when you're building these CAD backgrounds, you wanna path from your current backgrounds folder, not from the dated folder, all right? So that way these paths always are exactly the same. It makes your life much easier. Let me show you why. First though, we do need to export our backgrounds again. All right, so now let's say that it's uh, January 24th instead of the 23rd here. So we're gonna go and start, start a new round of exports. You always wanna keep that running list and, and date your folders so it's super easy to rewind the clock and jump back to where you were if needed. All right, so I'm gonna go to our background plan 01 new walls and I'm gonna go to, um, and, and we're gonna make this kinda easy too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy, all right, we're gonna copy all of these guys go to our exports, make a new folder. Um, now we'll just copy our 23 folder, paste it, and we're gonna call this one the 24th. So 200124. Now, the reason I want to have all of these drawings already in there is because I'm going to just overwrite them. I don't wanna have to retype the names, and I want the names to be perfect, all right? So that's how I like to do it. All right, so now in, in SketchUp, I can go to background plan 01, new walls, export, and we're gonna go to the 24th, okay? So now I need to go with our 01 walls and overwrite it, all right? And then we're gonna go to floors, F2, and we're gonna go with the 24th. You can see that's you know where we're looking now by default. 
and we're gonna go with 01 floors, yes. All right, windows, F2, we're on the 24th, 01 windows, yes. All right, I'm gonna run through, get these knocked out, and then we're gonna reload. Okay, so we've got everything re-exported. Click design, because that always brings me right back out to this kind of lightweight, snappy uh, work area. And let's hop back over into our exports folder and just talk about what we did, all right? So as of right now, in our exports folder, we have a folder called current backgrounds. And current backgrounds, that's where all of our CAD drawings are pulling from. All right, so all of these drawings are referencing all the pieces that live inside of the current backgrounds folder. The reason we do that is so that we have this one path. We don't have to go and repath all of our CAD drawings every single time we do an update. We want our current backgrounds folder as our, our absolute path and then we keep our dated folders and when we wanna change our current backgrounds, we just do one big overwrite, the whole thing updates. All right. Let's do it. In our folders here, we're gonna go to our 0124. And uh, you know what, I might just open up two folders here. We'll go with, uh, if you hold control and double click, you can, um, you, you can open a new uh, folder instance, all right? So here's our 0124. I just re-exported all this stuff. And, um, and we're not gonna bring over these one and two drawings. Those, those are just because I copied things from earlier. All right, now in our current backgrounds, you can see that we have all this stuff. These were at 1102, 11, 1102, all right? So that's when all of these guys were created. These are the new ones, all right? But we, we have a running record of all of this stuff because remember, we copied everything from our 0123 folder. So it's like we, we still have a snapshot of where we were on the 23rd, and now we're assuming it's the 24th, and I'm just going to take all this stuff and I'm going to copy it over here, and we're gonna replace the files. That's it. Um, and actually, I'm going to undo that because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to move them, I just want to copy these guys. So we'll just paste these over here like that. Okay, I think we're in good shape. So our current backgrounds have been updated with all these latest and greatest, these BAK files. I'm always deleting these. I'm sure there's some setting where I can you know, turn that off. We, we don't really need the audit report. I like to keep these folders nice and clean. One and two, all set up. All right, so now let's hop back over here into draft site. And let's do this. Select your references, right click, and choose reload. All right, so we're on level one and uh, we, we tweaked our window here. So we got rid of that. So when I hit reload, watch, uh, watch what happens with this window. Let's do this. Right click, reload. Bam, window's gone. All of our layers uh, remain intact. We're in good shape. All right, and then I go over here to our top floor and you can see that we can select all of this stuff and we're looking for this bedroom to appear. All right, so right click, reload. Bam, we got our bedroom. Now, as mentioned, our CAD drawings, um, you can see that like the, the export from SketchUp put it on that different layer. Uh, when we switch everything to layer zero, that was lost. Um, I might even experiment with creating a layer inside of SketchUp called layer zero. I wonder what that would do. That would be interesting. I don't know. Anyway, it's no big deal. The truth is that what you should do with your walls, because this is the only one that happens, is just make a line weight for that wall. So anyways. I hope that helps. Appreciate you uh, uh, watching and following along with me, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, click the BD button to subscribe to our channel. Every week we post new videos covering SketchUp, Layout, Lumion, and our Condoc Tools extension. If you are a professional architect or interior designer, you're going to love our tutorials.